Hello, Kipsters. Today, I'm going to read you a story titled <clears throat> Never Play Music Next to the Zoo by John Lithgow. You may know some of you may know him by his picture here. He's a very um, popular actor in some movies, Sorry the Glare. Um, and he is a recognizable person. He wrote many children's books, as you can see here. And this is his book. Again, Never Play Music Right Next to the Zoo. Okay. I went to a concert when I was a lad, no older than many of you. I sat with my sister, my mother, my dad, at a band shell right next to the zoo. The soft summer air was so balmly and sweet and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep in my seat despite all the music and song. All at once the conductor erupted with rage. A band of wild animals was storming the stage. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. The lions and the elephants, the bears and the raccoons, will steal away the trumpets, the flutes, and bassoons. Replace the musicians and chase them away. They'll sit in the band shell and then they'll play. The monkeys played fiddle, the bison played bass, the percussions were manned by the camel. Right here, my book messed up a little bit. The yak played the sax until red in the face, a surprisingly musical mammal. Talk this little thing off. The bonobo played oboe, the ferret, the flute. The jackal attacked the bassoon. The hippo had chosen the tuba to toot by light of the silvery moon. Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a superabundance of bestial notes. As the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clatter, the audience calmly continued to stare as if nothing at all was the matter. See all the band, the, the animals playing all the band instruments while the people watch. I trembled with terror, suppressing a scream, while my parents just sat there enraptured. Oh, how I wished it was only a dream, and those creatures all safely recaptured. But since, by the minute, I'd grown less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. Here's a concert. Little little animals are throwing a concert.
They finished and each put his instrument down, then bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo or evening gown and hurried back home to his cage. Then each reminisced, so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride. My mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad, but my sister remained by my side. She tugged on my sweater and spoke in my ear, you'd better wake up or we're leaving you here. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. No, never play music right next to the zoo and pay strict attention to rule number two. Bear it in mind for the rest of your days. Don't fall asleep when an orchestra plays. I hope you guys enjoyed that story, Kipsters. Um, I will be posting a Google Doc so that you guys can answer a couple questions about that story. And that will be our lesson for today. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys very soon.